Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning, guys. Would you like some grain? Oh, it's a nice balmy 37 degrees out this morning. It's been cold the last few mornings. Ever since fall came, the weather's changed. It's like boom. First day of fall, here you go. We're gonna be 40s today. I like it. Good morning. I've been trying to feed the pigs up by the wall to help them clean it out. And it, it's been working out really well. You guys are looking good. But I was like, let me see. Will they make a good snack? I still been having to herd the turkeys into the turkey tractor every night. They're usually sleeping right here. I thought after a few nights they might get a hang of it. They haven't yet. Going in moose. Good morning. I helped out some family members this past weekend remodel a bathroom. I didn't take you along with me, because believe it or not, not everybody wants to be on camera. I don't get it. The squash plant's taking it pretty hard with the weather lately. And I have that heavy equipment coming in the next couple of days and we'll be working down there. So we need to get these pumpkins, squash, whatever they are, picked up and we'll get the plant in the compost pile. Mister. Well, what are you doing? Huh? You're checking on what we're seeing, what we're up to? Yeah. I'm assuming that these squash vines are gonna have some little prickers on them. Curious to see how many pumpkins slash squashes or whatever these are we get today. Things just kind of taking over the yard. It's kind of crazy. I'll save all that stuff for the pigs.
It's crazy how much this ball and tear plant has just taken off and how good it's grown. That's just nuts. I love seeing all the beneficial bugs and worms under the plants. What do you guys want, huh? I don't think you'll want to eat any squash plants. It's a big one. There we go. Another monster right here. I think I'm just as excited for these little ones as I am for the big ones because the pigs are going to enjoy these right now. I saw a big yellow something over here. Another one there. couple over here for the animals. Now there's another one too. Look at that. Let's go get rid of these ones. Right in here. There we go. Oh, one more guy's hiding in these bushes. Oh, crazy. Look at that. They're kind of all different. I can't get over how many squashes this volunteer plant has put off. I think we need to go empty this Kubota bucket load. It's a lot of pumpkins. Some of these pumpkins or squashes are just beautiful. I love the color on that one. And that was a nice one. And the mice thought so too. That's another nice one. I'm happy with that harvest. That all came from volunteer squash plants from the compost pile. We have no money into any of these. That's just awesome. Now, even these pumpkins aren't going to go to waste. There. That's beautiful. I bet the pigs will enjoy that. I was kind of thinking the pigs might like a nice fall smogish ball. Some pumpkin, squash, and now some apples. It smells like fall. That smells better than pumpkin spice. Definitely. I got a treat! Come on! Sausage. 
I had a feeling you might like that. Mmm. You like pumpkin seeds? Now we know if we don't like the squash, the pigs love it. Free feed for them. over how strong some of these vines are. Holy moly! Oh, I like when you get done with a project and you can visually see an improvement. And I've never been able to mow down in this area ever since we've owned the property. All those apple tree branches and limbs that I cut down in the other video, they were out past here and they were coming out in front of the compost pile. I guess the pigs think we have something for them. Where are you going? Will you girls eat pumpkin, I wonder? <laughs> How are you girls doing on hay? You got plenty. It's like a big tube of toothpaste. I would not want to get my toothbrush. You don't want to brush your teeth with breakfast sausage? No. You sure? It might taste good. No. <laughs> it would not. <sighs> you want to cook up some eggs? I don't know, probably beep or the light will go off. You girls seem to like salsa. I don't like salsa. Oh, I thought you did. I don't like it on my breakfast food, though. That's a 
Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It felt nice to be able to go through the squash plant and find out how many squashes we had. You know what? I never counted them. I'll have to do that tomorrow. Man, but we got quite a few, almost two bucket loads. And now we got that area all picked up and I'm excited and can't wait for the piece of equipment to show up. We can start getting some work done and expand the goats area. Well, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.